Hello beautiful creative people, Kyla Giphan here um, from Giving Hands Creative and today I want to share with you my Butterfly Journal by Dane, Jane Davenport. This is the canvas cover version that I have um, done my own artwork on using um, some acrylic paints and mixed media items. You can check that video out, um, the link is below. But today I'm here to play around with these lovely mermaid markers by Jane Davenport. I got these from Michaels. There's also another video where I talk about these different products that I purchased. And so I am just going to jump right in and start playing with these. If you want to watch the other video where I talk about the whole the line of products that she has created and what she's got um, to share with us, then please by all means go do that. Otherwise, we're going to hop over here and start playing with these markers and just kind of see what they can do. All right. The first thing I noticed about these lovely, vibrant looking colors is that they have really cool names. So I'll talk about that as I go through each color. Second thing I noticed is that they, they were kind of sticking to each other and I couldn't figure out why they were doing that. Well, when you get yours, you might want to just double check your sticker here. Each one has a little sticker that tells you, you know, has Jane's name on it and the Color Institute and then the color. Um, but they're not all the way um, st stuck to the, to the pen or to the brush. So you might want to just take each one and just go ahead and press it all the way down so that all the stickers, the edges of the stickers, are really pressed on and aren't coming up or coming off. Okay, so that's the first thing. Um, the second thing is they they do have um, these little green, yellowish, lime green circle circular things on them that we have to take off. So. We'll just start with this one that I have in my hand, and so they're kind of on kind. They're on a little bit loose. Um, so when you get them, you might feel like, "Wow, that came off really easy." Well, that's because this piece is removable, and so you're going to want to go through and take that off of each one. And once you do that, um, when you put them back on. Let's just make sure I'm saying that right. You have to do a little bit of a push um, to get to get it in, to get it to catch, and you want that. There you go. You're you're gonna fill a moment where it connects, and once that happens, then you know you're ready to get started. Okay. And so we're gonna I'm gonna go through and take off all my little circles, make sure all my stickers are stuck, and I'll be right back. Alright, so all my little rings are off and you know my mixed media brain is saying, ooh, ooh, don't get rid of those. You could do something with that. <laughs> so we'll see. Uh, it's probably a really crazy and really insane idea. Um, but I have this little chopstick here, so I'm just going to slide them all on that and move it to the side just so I can get to what we're really here for. So we're going to start by just doing some swatching of the colors. Now uh, there are inserts in here and you can see these in the previous video, but there are inserts that I purchased um, and the inserts were, I want to say, I can't remember how much the inserts were, but they were somewhere in the maybe $5.99, somewhere around there, um, the watercolor paper. And this paper came in it. It's like a cardstock. And then I also added some Bristol paper. Okay. So I'm just going to take out one sheet of the watercolor paper that they provided, or that I purchased, but that is a part of this product line. And I'm actually going to move the journal to the side. And then we're just going to swatch these colors and kind of play around with them. And I'm not going to have any sort of way that I'm doing it. Um, it does have the word push on the side, so we're going to see what happens when we push. And since it's the first time that they, I'm using them, I would suspect that there's going to be a little bit of, there we go, there's going to be a little bit of needing to charge this. Wow, those colors are that is vibrant orange. 
So this one is Pirate's Gold and it is very, very, very <laughs> vibrant. So I'm going to just find one of my other journals here. I need something that I can put this on. The little extra. Always have a journal next to you so you can play a bit, little bit with your extra supplies. So we'll just find a page in this journal. And this will be where all the ex excess goes. Awesome. So that's the Pirate's Gold. And I think as I'm doing this, I'll go ahead and write these down. Okay, Pirate's Gold. The next one is Siren. I like that name. So again, we'll push Wow, that is a very deep, vibrant green. Look at that. Gorgeous. I love it. Nice. Seems like all of these, when you think about it, there's a theme here, right? Mermaids, pirates, sirens. This one is starfish. So it looks like there's a little bit of a theme there. I know that, um, I believe Jane has a class that she does um, on mermaids. So it must be something that she loves. Those colors are super vibrant, guys. Oh my gosh, I can't even tell you. So vibrant, really nice. Very beautiful colors. Awesome. And... When we're all done here, I will show you my little other journal over here. All right, so I'm not gonna make you sit and watch in real time as I do this, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and finish my swatching, and I'll meet back here to talk a little bit about these juicy and luscious mermaid markers. See you back here in a sec. Yes, 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 yes. That's all I have to say. I love them. I am in love with them. So, first thing, they are vibrant. My goodness. Like, super vibrant. The colors just pew, pop off the page. Um, so I'm loving that about them. They're juicy. They're really bold. Look at how bold this green. This is a bold green. And that blue and the red. I, they're just bold. This pirate's gold. Oh, um, yummy. Loving it. Um... I wrote that they're easy to use. They don't leave any kind of, um, there's no residue feeling. Um, they dry smoothly and I really like that. Um, delicious, yum, yum, yum. That's all I have to say. Uh, so I'm really excited about this Pirate's Gold color. I'm really kind of digging that. So I'm just gonna add a little color here to my, now that's a permanent black pen that I have there um, that I'm, just bringing these right into. So they have a really fine tip, but they're they're like any other brush pen, right? They've got the fine tip, but you can uh, press a little harder and lay them flat to get the more thicker stroke if you want that. Um, but these colors, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's all I have to say. They are beautiful. And I can see how you might... Um, I can see how you might layer them. I didn't do that. I didn't kind of like play or mix colors on paper, but I can totally see how that could be done. So I probably will play with that at some point. But right now I am just loving 
how ridiculously vibrant these things are. They are super duper. So a little pricey for those of you out there that I know don't um, like to spend a lot on your art supplies. Again, they ring in right at around, um, I want to say 39 bucks, 40 bucks for the whole set. Uh, but I imagine they're going to last me for a while. So we will, um, let's put a date on this page so we can know the date that we swatched them. Um, it is January 26, 17. So we will mark that date um, and we'll, we'll see if and when they start to run out what that looks like, um, how long that takes. But I suspect... You know, there's a good bit of fluid in there, and I suspect it's going to be a while before, you know. I mean, I guess if I used them every day and I did big, large paintings with them, that would be different. But just for, you know, some daily journaling, art journaling, and just some doodling and kind of playing around with lettering, that kind of thing, I imagine they're going to last a, a good long time. So if you get your Michaels 40% off, or if you can come across a 50% off, or, or a day where they have 40 plus 20, um, I say that's the day to buy them. Hold out and buy them then so that you don't get sticker shock uh, and feel like you can't experience these. Um, they, they, I think they're going to be worth it. So I will play around these with these in some other paper and kind of see what they do in my bullet journal. Um, and just to get a sense for how they react to other uh, substrates, other papers. But for now... They got two thumbs up for me. They are super vibrant, super juicy, colorful, joyful, easy to use, non-chalky, and literally, I mean, the caps, I've, I've got these uh, really bad, horrible um, watercolor brushes that the caps, I can't put them in bags because the caps come off and then my bag is wet um, by the time I get from my house to wherever I'm going. These have a beautiful, the cap, you can hear the cap pop on and off. And that, to me, is a sign of a good closed pen. It's closed. Um, so that's that's really good. Good sturdy um, construction. I love it. I, I think I'm going to be able to pop these into a bag and have them with me and not feel like I always have to have a watercolor palette with me. But I can pull these out and play with them. So I'll continue to play with these a little bit. And I will report back from time to time and just kind of let you know. Um, what what I think of them as I continue to move forward and play with them on different paper and you can even see they're still just as vibrant on this paper and I'm wondering if I bring a little bit of water over here I can kind of activate some of that a little bit right because they are after all watercolor markers mermaid markers right? so I can even come in and dilute some of that um, color that I've already got laid down so that's you know reactivated so if you were you know out and about and playing around with different you know colors and you didn't have time to really do it justice you could always come back in with a water brush watercolor brush or another water brush and really play with those colors move them around the page so that's fun to know. And I mean, look at how vibrant it is even after me adding some water to, to it. Right. You can see a little bit of layering there. So we'll, we'll play with these. I'll keep playing with these for the rest of the month and I'll report back and just let you know what I think about how they play and if they play nicely um, in, for mixed media artists. Okay, lovelies, I sure hope that you... Um, can get your hands on some of these to play around with and see what they're like. Again, you can get them from Michaels. I don't know if you can get them from the website just yet. Depends on when you're watching this video, but um, you can get them in stores. You can also get them uh, at janedavenport.com on her site from her uh, over in Australia, I think. All right, lovelies, wherever you are in the world, whatever you're doing, go out, play, create something beautiful today. I'll see you back here soon. Bye.